In the last video, we saw that the background image was not taking up the full screen and I asked you to do a little bit research on your own and see if you could fix the problem. Hope you found a solution. If you haven't, then just follow along with me. I found that we need a rect class object in draw bitmap method. You can google it for more information about rect class but it basically holds 4 integer coordinates for a rectangle, left, top, right and bottom. Go to gameview.java. Declare a class level object for rect. rect rect semicolon import rect in our case, the coordinate for left and top is 0 and 0, but for right and bottom, it should be the value of width and height of the screen respectively. So, I am giving you another challenge to find the screen width and height. Good luck. Welcome back. Hope you manage that as well. My solution is to create a display object like this. Right inside constructor. Display display equals to get context cast that into activity dot get window manager dot get default display semicolon import display now we need to create a point object point can hold two integer coordinates if we pass a point object to get size method on display object the screen size will be returned in that point objects x and y properties we can store them in integer variables so declare d width and d height in class level int d width comma d height next inside the constructor write point size equals to new point semicolon display dot get size size d width equals to size dot x semicolon d height equals to size dot y semicolon now we have all four coordinates of the rectangle that encompasses the whole screen the coordinate for left and top is 0 and 0 and for right and bottom it is screen width and screen height respectively in our case d width and d height next instantiate the rect object rect equals to new rect 0 comma 0 comma d width comma d height in on draw change this line to canvas dot draw bitmap background comma null comma rect comma null run the app in emulator great this time we are getting the desired output so to recap in the previous lecture, I have shown you how to set a background image for canvas using draw bitmap method. 
Then I talked a little bit about intent and how you can move from one activity to another using start activity method. You also know that you need to add an entry in manifest for each of your activities. In this lecture, I have shown you how to make any background image fully fit the screen if it doesn't by default. Next, I will demonstrate how to create a simple plain animation on this canvas. See you there.